Let me ask you about what happens going forward and, and you know, they're going to take this vote right now. And we will know uh, in just a few moments if it does shake out 11 to 10 or, or somehow different than that. We will know whether or not Judge Brett Kavanaugh will get a full Senate vote next week uh, to become the next justice on the Supreme Court. Where do we stand in Washington with people being able to work things out? Because it was really, really nasty, Chris. Well, let me, let me talk first of all about the process, because even if they were to vote not to uh, refer out the, no the mm -hmm. nomination of Brett Kavanaugh, that would not stop the Senate from taking a vote. Even if you were to go down, for instance, 11 to 10, rather than it to be reported out favorably 11 to 10, it can still be brought to the Senate floor. And the way that would work is that tomorrow it would be brought up, uh, and then on Monday there would be a vote to cut off debate, and then the confirmation would happen on Tuesday. And there's still, as, as uh, Brett Baer mentioned a few moments ago, there mm -hmm. still is some doubt about two moderate women on the, uh, uh, in the Senate, Republican women, Lisa Murkowski of Alaska, Susan Collins of Maine. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we don't know. They have not announced. And in fact, Susan Collins, is, as late as uh, late morning, said she still is undecided on this. And I suspect uh, if we're not going to have this until Tuesday, she's going to hear from a lot of constituents back yeah. home in Maine. And my guess is Murkowski the same. As far as relations on Capitol Hill and between the two parties, Yesterday was about as ugly as I've ever seen, and I've been in this town for 40 years. I mean, you, you, you've seen spirited debates, you've seen some angry debates, but yesterday was, was, was ugly and bitter. And uh, that, particularly when you saw Lindsey Graham uh, snap back after uh, these attacks by Democrats on Kavanaugh, where they were talking about drinking games, and they were talking about his high school yearbook, and he said, this is the most despicable thing I've ever seen in this town, and anybody, uh, any Republican who votes no, votes against the Kavanaugh nomination, is legitimizing that. Uh, there are, you know, this isn't just people playing on TV and then they go, and as it often happens, and I think uh, hopefully so, you know, you can, you can argue on the Senate floor and then you can go out and have a drink or whatever. I think there's some real uh, enmities, any, uh, some real grudges that have been formed over these last couple of weeks, really.